Hey guys, welcome back. We are uh, just cranking out the videos these days, love and life. Today we're going to be making what's called a uh, drill block, and we're going to be applying some tolerances to that. Let's see, what do I have here? So I was kind of testing this out. Turns out I don't really know what I'm doing, so hopefully you guys can figure that out. Let's not save any of the changes. I do know how to create the drill block, though, so that's the good news. We started our sketch already, and we are going to begin with a 2 inches, oops, 2 inches by 5 inch rectangle here. All right, there we go. And then we'll just finish that sketch and extrude it. Mm, let's see, 3D model. We're going to extrude it to a height of uh, 3 inches. 3 inches, there we go. Okay, now on our, uh, let's see, on our 2 by 5 box here, so the narrower side, we're going to uh, start a, begin a new, nope, not edit sketch. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, for it back. We're going to start a new sketch right here on the side of it, okay? So on the, uh, on the narrower side, like that, we started our sketch. Okay, moving onward, we are going to put in four points for uh, some holes that we want to make. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, where is my points tool? Can't find, there it is, all right. So we want this to be on the midline. So you know what, I tell you what, let's put in a construction line first that's on the midline. I'm gonna scan for that midpoint. You can also use the dimensions. Keep in mind, it's two inches. So hopefully you guys can figure out what the dimension from there to there is. Give you a hint, it's half a two. Then we'll go ahead and uh, uncheck that. Uncheck the line tool and we will get us a point going right here. Okay, we're gonna put one point right here, approximately 0.75 there, approximately one inch past the first point and then 1.25 and 1.25. Now I will dimension the location of these points using the chain method as we've been learning about. Okay, here we go, 0.75. That means that each one's getting its own dimension from there to there, we want to be a one inch. From there to there, we want to be 0.25, no, sorry, 1.25. And from there to there, we want that to be 1.25. Yes, indeed, okay, perfect. Okay, let's finish that sketch, and then we're going to apply some holes. So let's see, grab this hole right here. Now, of course, it wants all of them to be the same. Not a problem right there. Okay, we want this to be a, uh, this, well, let's start with the left here. You know what? X that. Forget that. Let's click right here, and we'll put the hole in. Okay, now we want this to be a uh, counter sunk hole right here with a diameter of 0.25 that goes uh, all the way through, I believe. No, pardon me, that goes one inch deep. Okay, so actually, look at that, the defaults. Then, we're going to have to change this here. We want our diameter to be 0.375 uh, and go to a depth of 0.25 inches. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and click OK. Perfect. All right, now, uh, our whole one, we're going to have to share the sketch to get that back. Share sketch. All right, good. Now you can see it. We can get another one of these. Let's grab us another hole on the way over and you know what i messed this up because i started from the left and not the right but i can fix that i'm just gonna go ahead wow well, i'm just gonna go ahead and flip it around oh oh but uh, no it's you know what it's not gonna work because the dimensions are messed up uh oh mr anderson mr stem messed it up don't tell anybody okay let's go back we'll fix this okay so we'll uh go ahead and uh create a hole right there okay Look at that. Luckily for us, it saved all of our stuff. Okay, good. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and reshare the sketch. Uh, let's see. Share sketch right there. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes. Okay, now what do we want here? This is just a uh, basic through hole right here. Uh, so we want to just choose a through hole. It's got a diameter of 0.25. And it just go. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, sorry, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and it just goes all the way through. So let's just go, uh, mm, goodness, how do we do this? Termination, through all, there we go. Uh, apply that, 
Oh, and look at that. Now, can we change this one? We can change this one. Look at that. So if you just click apply, you can change them all without resharing the sketch. That's kind of interesting. All right. This one is a countersink right here. Uh, our angle is going to be 62 degrees or no, pardon me, 82 degrees with a one inch diameter here. So let's do 1.0. All right. Fantastic. And, uh, a 0.5 inch through hole through all 82 degrees yep fantastic apply that now let's uh oh okay cancel all right so i thought it was going to work so slick but it didn't okay we're going to have to create this one yep apply that and then our next hole is not going to be that it is going to be a smaller hole a 0.75 inch countersink right here or counter bore What's the difference between those two? Uh, don't honestly know. Okay. No problem. All right. Counterbore. 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 Oh, spot face. Let's do the counterbore. This time, uh, we are going to have 0.75 inches uh, going to a depth. 0.75 inches going to a depth of 0.5. 0.5 and then this one goes to a depth not through all to a depth of two inches right there okay good we've created our block let's go ahead and save this save as uh, we will call this the drill block all right save it all right then we are going to go ahead and open up is this look right did I yeah I think this is good right Okay, yep, good, good, good. Okay, everything's in order. Let's go ahead and uh, start a new part right here. It's not going to, it's going to be a title block sheet A. Uh, again, I'm going to skip that. You should fill it in. I'm going to skip it for time purposes. And let's go ahead and place us a base. And now this time I am actually going to go ahead and choose just the top view right here. And uh, we're going to click OK. Okay, now the uh, sheet that you have in front of you has all these and we want to dimension all of them. We want to dimension that and add all the dimensions for the holes and stuff. But we also want to change the tolerances. Let's go here. Uh, annotate. So we're going to dimension things like let's say we want to do this. Uh oh, dimension, please. Okay, good. 5.0. All right, now when you edit the dimension, there you go. This is a screen we're used to seeing, right? Where we can hide the dimension value, we can type in stuff. You can type in things, but the way to do it to kind of officially change precision and tolerance is to come over here and change things. Now you can have the default, which basically just lets you uh, set the amount of tolerance or the, the amount of digits you want, right? Like you can go like that right there. Uh, and you can click OK, and it will be 5.0. Or we can right-click. Let's hit Escape so we're not dimensioning anymore. Right-click on the dimension, and you can go to Edit. And we can change our type of tolerance, right? Like you can change this to 2. Or you can also do things like have a symmetric tolerance, a uh, limit stacked, limits linear. So like for this one, if we wanted our upper limit to be 5.05 .05, and our lower limit to be 5.0, we could click OK and look at that. There it gives us our upper limit and our lower limit. So now this sheet goes through a bunch of things um, that we need to do. Unfortunately, I am a little bit behind. I have not done this yet. So we'll just kind of have to figure it out together. I'm sure that, you know, between between the viewers, my students and me, we can all we can all figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and end a video there. And this will just have to be a bit more exploratory. You know, if we can't figure out one or the other, we'll find something. Uh, so anyways, thank you for watching and uh, let's just go ahead and, and see you next time.